Hello, faithful, and welcome to a new edition of White Throne Metal Radio's Top 10 Songs. I am your host, Kevin Crothers, station manager for White Throne Metal Radio and staff writer for Heaven's Metal Magazine. You'll find links in the description below to both Heaven's Metal Magazine online and White Throne Metal Radio 24 hours a day. Christian hard rock and heavy metal, or I should say heavy metal and hard rock from a Christian point of view. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Check us out there on those spots. Today, another in my Redux, Top 10 Songs Redux. Uh, what Kind of redoing some of the early videos that I did last year. Tron, I was really trying just to get the handle of the format and how to do all this stuff. And I used to get a lot of people that say, play some song clips. And I eventually kind of fiddled around with it, but... Here we go. Top 10 songs. We're going to redo Baron Cross. So I've got 10 songs. We're going to shotgun through this. I'll put a link to the other video where I talk about more of the albums and maybe a little history of the band. And maybe I'll do a little more of that in the future. Uh, but on this video, 10 songs, going to shotgun through it. And I got a call a mulligan right off the bat because... I had to put 11 songs in here, so 10A and 10B, starting us off, off of Rattle Your Cage, coming in at 10B, is The Unsuspecting. The eyes of Rick could invade without logic. He so pushed the button that he gunned him down, but he got caught this time, now he's downtown. So the court gives mercy to a still merciless man, and on parole years later, a very heavy song from Baron Cross from 1994. Just the last studio album the band did together. A great heavy record, a great song, comes in at 10B. Coming in at 10A, basically a tie, in my opinion. Some of you are going to freak out. You probably freaked out then. You'll freak out now. And that is the Stage of Intensity from, from the State of Control album, reissued in 2020 by Retroactive Records. Check it out. Close your eyes and feel the So many, just kind of that thrash. I mean, I never really saw Baron Cross in that kind of vein. More, always more of a heavier, you know, Iron Maiden-ish heavy metal type band, but not like a quote-unquote thrash band. Kind of a pseudo thrash song from the guys there. Stage of Intensity comes in at 10. Coming in at number 9, also off of the Rattle Your Cage album, a prayer, here I am. Great riff, great song, great lyrics. Steve Whitaker penned that tune. A brilliant song. Here I Am comes in at number nine. Coming in at number eight off the debut album, Rock for the King, It's All Come True. Time when I was once given a chance to receive the love of God, but I spat on his face. I got up, began to live. 
kind of a fire and brimstone kind of lyrical take there. But musically, a very different arrangement as far as the reason a verse, chorus, verse, chorus, great breaks, great guitar soloing. Love Jim Laverty's bass playing. Uh, great song, one of my all time favorites. It's All Come True, comes in at number eight. Coming in at number seven off of Atomic Arena, King of Kings. A great worship song. It's heavy. You could easily put that in a a mix of heavy metal songs that have a very worshipful bent lyrically, um, very powerful in its uh, presentation. A great hook. It'll stick with you a long time. King of Kings comes in at number seven. Coming in at number six off a of Rattle Your Cage. I like that record quite a bit. I love the, the raw sounding guitar on that one. The album Closer, which I think is an overlooked gem, Midnight Sun. guitar work from Ray Paris on that song. I love the drumming. Um, you know, it, it, it's like, what what else can be said? It just, it's got a great hook and it, it just, it rocks, it drives, it's solid and, and it cranks. <laughs> Midnight Sun comes in at number six. Coming in at number five. This is off of Atomic Arena. It was also on the Cal Metal 1. I actually kind of prefer the version on Cal Metal 1, but this is the version off of Atomic Arena, and I'm talking about Deadlock. Hey, hey. <laughs> Deadlock could have been a song that would have been a better video than uh, Imaginary Music. Um, it's heavier, um, gr good solo, driving, it's memorable, and I, I just it speaks more to me about musically the band and where they were at that time. Deadlock comes in at number five, which leads us to number four, also off of Atomic Arena, Living Dead. Strong, powerful album closer that I always understood was two parts of a song. Uh, this and another song were combined. It used to be called In the Eye of the Fish, which they divided up, and which I believe leads us to our number, th my number three, which is In the Eye of the Fire.
another great song. It's progressive. Um, it's got that Jim Laverde kind of trebly Steve Harris like bass tone. Um, it's driving. It, it you know another one of these songs like it's all come true where it's not necessarily a. It's got a verse chorus verse chorus thing, but the arrangement is different. Um, it, 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 there's not a real guitar solo per se. It's a, a great tune. Uh, Anti suicide, obviously. In the Eye of the Fire comes in at number three, which leads me to my number two, which is also off a of state of control. Album Closer, 2000 Years, the greatest scream, one of the greatest screams that Mike Lee, Mike Drive ever sang. 2000 Years comes in at number two. Here it is right now. Aggressive, um, great solo. Um, I, initially, that album had a very sterile sound. It, it just didn't register well back in the day. Um, I mean, you're playing a mess of boogie, and it felt like the Elefantes really kind of toned down the, the attack on that guitar. The remaster helps immensely from that retroactive reissue from a year ago. Always been one of my favorite songs. A great tune. It, 2,000 Years comes in at number two, which leads me to my number one Baron Cross song. Has always been, ever since I heard it on Rock for the King. I mean, it, it, it screams Iron Maiden. We know it. They know it. Um, Dying Day is number one. And here's why. Great guitar solo, great vocal, just, I mean, 1986, what more could you want? Dying Day comes in as my number one favorite Baron Cross song. Um, I, what are your top 10 Baron Cross songs? Put them in the comments below. This is how we talk about some of our favorite bands. Keep the dialogue going. You know, is there a song I missed? I'm sure there is for some of you. Put it in the comments below. Don't forget, I'm going to do more of these Redux videos, and I've got more new content as well. Don't forget to say your prayers, and until next time, God bless.